Good morning, everyone. I am Dr. Dalport from the Central University of Technology, South Africa, and my discussion topic is about math manipulatives in the statistics classroom. So when we, we start with this, um, I found over the years, I've got 25 years teaching experience, and I don't think it's just me, I think there's a lot of other uh, educators and lecturers as well, that students hate statistics, and they have very negative attitudes towards statistical subjects, um, often because these courses are too rigid and abstract, and students are expected to immediately make sense of new statistical concepts, however, not all students are able to understand key statistical concepts at immediately or at the same time. So multi-sensory multi education um, suggests that most people use five senses to interact with the world around them. Uh, sight, sound, smell, taste and touch. And multisensory education is an instruction method which uses visual, auditory, kinesthetic and tactile ways to educate students. That is according to Toyo 2016, page 48. Educators need to include at least three learning modalities in their presentations to meet the needs of most students. What is math manipulatives? According to Zondakis, 2019, it is any concrete physical object used by teachers for math instruction with the purpose of helping students understand math better. Why is this approach so important? Well, first of all, one should look for new strategies to reach each and every student. The multisensory approach maximizes the use of many senses, particularly seeing, hearing and feeling. And then again, people learn better when information is integrated across several sensory modalities. The learning theories of Piaget, Brunner and Vygotsky support the use of multisensory teaching techniques. According to Rains, Kelly and Durham, multisensory approaches can facilitate development in general and math specific by providing tools for the students to relate to until they fully embrace the concept. So, so far we found two important aspects. Math manipulatives contribute to students' understanding by providing them with hands-on and concrete learning experiences, as well as multisensory teaching is highly effective in language and literacy acquisition. However, there's a lack of research regarding math manipulatives in statistics courses. Now, when we look at the literature, Jones, Jones and Jones, the year 2000, uh, argue that the visual modality is nothing short of phenomenal. Hence the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. We all know that. Um, auditory learners need to hear themselves speak when they are learning. Some people need to talk through their notes. While kinesthetic refers to perceiving through touch and an awareness of body movement, that is according to Dubran, 2012. Then if we think back in history, one of the earliest forms of math manipulatives is the abacus counting board. And recently, these more modern forms of math manipulatives, for example, that I use in my statistics classes, I will go there with my deck of cards, um, maybe two dices and coins, and then the students can feel these subjects and they can come to the front while they interact with these math manipulatives. So the purpose of my uh, study that I did was to investigate whether the use of math manipulatives as a multi-sensory teaching techniques could positively affect students' academic performance in a statistics-related subject at the South African University. That was obviously done by, by CUT. So the research question was, are the post-test scores of students, that is in Statistics 2, who receive the multi-sensory teaching with math manipulatives, were well, those scores different from those of students who received traditional instruction? And that group of students was um, business statistics at our university. 
So the research hypothesis was set out, um, the null hypothesis said that the post-test scores in statistics 2 is equal to the post-test scores in business statistics, while the alternative hypothesis stated that the post-test uh, score in statistics 2 is different than the post-test score in business um, statistics, actually. Okay, so the significance of the study First of all, it considers both a multi-sensory teaching approach as well as math manipulatives as a supplementary teaching technique. Furthermore, math manipulatives contributes to students' experiences by providing them with hands-on and concrete learning experiences. And finally, students, uh, it supports students' use of visual, tactile and auditory interactions. So the research methodology that I was employed in this study, it was a quasi-experimental uh, approach within a quantitative research paradigm. I've made use of non-equivalent pre-test, post-test control group design involving an experimental group and a control group of students. The population consisted of 98 third-year CUT students who were enrolled in the National Diploma in Cost and Management Accounting and Internal Auditing. The two subjects was business statistics and statistics two, and the quantitative data was obtained using two self-developed instruments. That was just the pre-test and the post-test. So there you can see I've uh, set it down in two groups. The experimental group was 55 students and the control group was 43 students. The experimental group took statistics two, while the control group uh, had business statistics. And the Statistics 2 group, which was the experimental group, um, they received the multi-sensory instruction, while the control group just received traditional instruction. So I didn't, um, for those group of students in the control group, I wrote all the probabilities, for example, down on the board. Uh, what is the chances if you throw a dice to get one dot or three dots on the dice, on the face of the dice? So... I explained just on the whiteboard by writing down the probability while the experimental group, I actually took the cards out and the dices and the coins. So they came to the front and they could touch the subjects and feel it and interact with it. So for the data analysis, um, an independent sample t-test was performed to compare the mean differences. And for the control group, the mean was 68.84, while for the experimental group, it was 67.87. The t-value was 0.3731, with a p-value of 0.7099. And I also made use of a non-parametric Mann-Whitney test. There you can see the parameters, z equals 0.0358, and the p-value was 0.9681. So, because the p-values are non-significant, both groups were assumed equivalent. Then, with the post-test from the data analysis, there was a significant, uh, significant difference between the control group and the experimental group. You can see the p-value is far less than 0.05, and the results of the Mann-Whitney test further confirmed that with um, z equals 3.80, and the p-value was significant at 0.014. Therefore, the null hypothesis is rejected, and we can conclude that there was a significant difference in process scores between the two groups of students. So the findings of this research suggest that the difference indicates that the multi-sensory teaching approach that was supplemented with math manipulatives may have had a positive impact on students' academic achievement in the module statistics too. And then finally, the conclusion. Research points out that multiple representations, which include visual, auditory, as well as kinesthetic modalities, are beneficial in the learning of mathematics. The multi-sensory teaching approach employed in this study focuses on the introduction of math manipulatives to explain statistical concepts. After analyzing the data, it was observed that students who received the multi-sensory teaching strategy supplemented with math manipulatives performed significantly better in the post-test than students who only received traditional instruction. However, a limitation of the study was the small sample size of 98 students. 
as such, the findings of this study may not be generalized to all statistics students at all other universities. So that is that. I thank you all for watching.